Hi, I'm Jeff. In this video, we're going to talk about the 6 liters water pump. Now, the stock unit has a plastic impeller with a tendency to crack. When that happens, coolant isn't effectively delivered around the engine. The bulletproof water pump solves that problem. Let's take a closer look. We've torn down the 6 liter engine to perform a variety of work. To install the water pump, the cab does not need to come off the truck. At the front of the motor now, we're ready to install our BPD water pump. It's got an aluminum impeller that doesn't disintegrate like the factory forward one. We've noticed on some of these when the fan is commanded 100%, you'll get a heck of a belt squeal. And we found a good way to solve that by just roughing up the water pump pulley a little bit before it's installed and it'll grip the belt a lot better and we'll avoid that squeal. Okay, next is the belt and tensioner. Got the water pump and the pulley on, the bolts up next and the tensioner. Kind of a tricky routing. But... A map of the belt routing for the 6 liter engine can usually be found on the panel behind the grill. If yours is missing or unreadable, give us a ring and we can email you a copy. This is the tensioner. A lot of people don't realize this on the tensioners. When you're taking the belt off, if you stretch it enough, there's a keeper right there that'll keep it in the unlocked position. And after you get it on, you just simply pull the belt and it'll flip that keeper out and it automatically tensions itself. Yeah, make sure the belt's in, all the pulleys, like that one's not. And then to get the tension back on the belt, you just pull it. All right, next would be the fan stator. Okay, we got the, uh, the lower hose has a mount that mounts to the stator right here. And that'll help keep the hose off the steering gear. All right, and the fan's next. We make a little deal that helps with the wiring on here. These things are kind of notorious for eating the fan clutch wiring. So we've done a couple of things to help avoid that. One of them is this little sleeve that we install. This protects the wiring. These things, for some reason, they're kind of notorious for eating the, the fan wiring. The fan will eat it. And these clutches are like $700. It's, it's not a cheap mistake. So between this and then we put a fan in the, or a screw in the connector where it goes through the stator and that keeps everything from flexing at all. Uh, 6.0 is a clockwise. Unlike a 6.4. Some people just spin them on and call it good. If that fan comes off while the truck is running or after you shut it off, it's, it's a radiator and possibly more. So I just like to give it a good cinch. Just one self-tapping screw and that'll keep that from moving at all. Save your fan. You'll notice they have arrows. The arrows will always line up with the little indentation so you can locate them right. All the Ford factory hoses have it. We're going to upgrade our radiator, take this plastic one out. These seals right here, you want to try to make sure and get them back on your new radiator. 
it'll leave a real big air gap between your intercooler and the radiator otherwise and loss of efficiency. The stock six liter radiator has plastic end tanks. This radiator has been problematic and failures are common. The upgraded bulletproof diesel all aluminum radiator is a reliable and durable alternative. Okay, let's get the seals back on this radiator. You have to kind of push them all the way on and then they'll kind of roll. That's just how they sit. Okay, we got that on. We can mount the shroud out here. Makes it a lot easier. All right. With the water pump and radiator installed, the truck hit the streets for testing, which is part of the Bulletproof Diesel protocol. Be sure to check out the other videos in this series, which will demonstrate how we correct the other pattern failures in the 6-liter engine.